Today on the Technivorous channel, we're answering more Kira questions. This one is all about tree support. What it's for, how to activate it, and when you should be using it. Welcome to the Technivorous channel and our Kira questions playlist where we answer questions put forth by you, the viewers. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. Today's question is, how do you activate tree supports? So we're going to discuss tree supports in length here and we're going to go over why and when to use them as well as how to activate them. As you can see, I have a model brought up here. This is the top shell of a PS4 controller. And in most cases, I would want to print this just in the orientation you see now simply because you're going to get the best model surfaces on the top and sides of the object. So I could flip this over and get a flatter surface up against the build plate, but it is going to leave a rougher surface on the bottom, and my support interface is going to take more cleanup. When printing this way, all of the red areas will be supported and the interface will be on the interior of the model. So while I will have to remove the support and do a little bit of cleanup, I won't necessarily need to sand and, and sand it smooth and polish it, because the outside will already have the finish that I desire. So now that I've determined the orientation I want to print this in, I need to determine what kind of supports to use. And in this case, I already have it sliced with regular supports using the zigzag pattern. So we can jump over to preview mode here and you can see that I'm using 134 grams of filament for the slice down here. And it is laying a pretty stable base underneath all of this. If you'd like to know how to make it easier to remove your supports, we'll be going over that in one of the next videos. It has to do with the support interface. But for this video, I want to discuss tree supports because I feel like we could save some plastic down here and maybe print a little bit quicker, although that's not necessarily the end goal. I like tree supports because they do a little bit better job of supporting the areas that are hidden, um, such as this broad area right here should be supported by a lot less plastic than it is here. So. Keeping the supports to a minimum amount will save you on plastic and allow you to print more. Now let's take a look at how to make this work. Right now, I have generate support checked and support structure is what we're looking at. Okay, The support pattern, that's this zigzag right here that just means it goes back and forth. There's several different support patterns. When using tree support, the pattern doesn't really matter. So we're going to leave that alone and we're going to look in support structure. And underneath normal, you'll find the tree selection. Once we select it, we will need to re-slice. So it will take a minute to slice. And while it does that, let's discuss when the best times to use tree support are. Now, I tend to use tree support on all of my prints just because it seems to work a little bit better as far as using less plastic and supporting the model as well as being slightly easier to remove. Um, that is just a personal preference and there are instances such as cases where objects have large flat bottoms that are not necessarily touching the build plate where I will use a regular infill or excuse me a regular support and maybe even put a top skin on that support. But 90% of the time, especially when doing like miniatures uh, or busts or things of that nature, I do really, really well with tree support. One of the nice things is if you're printing, say, a bust of uh, an anime character, it can swirl the tree support up and around and get underneath that chin, which is generally the most in need of support when it comes to printing busts. And it'll go right where you need it without there being a ton of leftover. So curious to see if there's any savings in filament. I'm assuming it's not going to be very much because you'll see the tree support does do a really swirly full pattern when printing underneath broad objects like this. So uh, we'll let this finish slicing and we'll take a look. All right, and here we are. You can see our tree support pattern in there. It has processed and produced what we want. And like I said, this is the thing I was talking about. So in this controller model, there's a large gap here in the top. Uh, there's no reason to support that, but the way it was making the support earlier, it was filling all of this in with all this extra filament. We were using 140 grams and we have reduced our filament by 80 grams. We're only using 60 grams to print this structure with tree support, and it is going to do just as good, if not better. And these are the kind of structures I'm talking about, these windy little snakes. These are why it's called tree support. The interior of this is pretty well spread out, but for the most part, they look like little branches like this coming up and supporting just the place where it needs, and then they will branch out and support another place. So. Uh, you can see the filament savings using tree support is amazing. I've showed you how to set tree support. Both of these supports were set to 20% density. The main difference is the fact that it's not supporting this empty space right here. 
as well as it's really only taking the major overhangs around the side here. So this hollow area here, it's building up off of the layers around it. Shouldn't have any problems because technically it's not red when we look at the overhangs. Now, another thing to remember is I have the overhangs at the moment set to 45%. Um, that is to support anything I need to, but generally when printing my towers or when printing my overhang tests, I don't need to support anything less than 65 or 60%. So I could change that in theory and reduce the amount of filament I'm using even further. But 60 grams from 140, that's not bad. Like I said, that's that's I've cut it by more than half and I'm still getting the same amount of infill and same amount of walls on my model. It'll be just as good as it was in the other production, except in this case, I'm not wasting all that interior filament. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I, I use tree support a lot. I recommend using it for most things. And if you appreciate this video, if you like it, leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave me your Kira questions in the comments down below, and I will make you a video as soon as I get around to checking them because I am happy to make you guys videos I get a lot of my content from people suggesting questions and it works really well so don't be shy we'll see you in the next one guys technivorous out stick around guys I got another YouTube recommended video for you right here and if you haven't already subscribe 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 make sure that you smash that like button we'll see you in the next one technivorous out